like I asked Dabo kind of how you guys, it's one thing to say like, you know, switch focus, move on to the next, turn the page, it's easier said than done. He said you guys really don't have time to kind of worry about what happened in the past. How do you kind of create that move on mentality? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously you go back through, you watch the film, you see what you did wrong, see the things you need to work on, and then just focus on that for practice this week. And then you prepare for, you know, your next opponent. So obviously fix the mistakes you made last week in this practice while preparing for your next opponent. Uh, personally or just overarching? Just from the offensive line and, and for you personally. Um, offensive line, you know, it, it was just little technical errors that kind of, you know, made uh, made big plays happen. So it, it was nothing glaring with the offensive line that was, you know, terrible. It was nothing unfixable. It was just technical errors that just need to be corrected in practice. And then for me, same thing, just, you know, technical stuff, being more precise with my hands, being better with my feet, and just, you know, being more – I guess situa situationally aware in terms of, you know, how the guys are going to rush if it's a, you know, shorter third down or a longer third down, just that sort of thing. What's the mood like right now? Um, you know, obviously, you know, a loss sucks and especially a loss at home sucks, but I feel like people have done a good job kind of using that to fuel them and have a great practice you know, or a great week of preparation this week. So, you know, the mood on Monday was definitely – you know, sad at first, but then we got out on the practice field and everyone was, I wouldn't say excited, but motivated to go out and have the best practice they've had all year. Is it comparable to how things felt after Notre Dame, or is this one different because it was that in-state rivalry? It was the last one at home for the seniors. It was the home winning. I mean, there were so many other things that this loss I mean, obviously we go into every week with the mentality that we need to have our best week of practice every day. It needs to be the best day of practice you've ever had. So, you know, week to week it's just – you always need to do your best. You always need to improve. You need to be the best version of yourself that you've ever been on that day of practice. What do you see from UNC? Um, obviously, they're a very talented team. You know, their offense is explosive and their defense is good. They have some defensive ends who are very good. They have some D tackles who are really good. So, you know, we need to be on our A game if we want to go out there and be able to show who we really are and show the team we're capable of being. We need to, you know, cut out errors that we made and be all there technically. Obviously, you talked about moving on and Well, I mean, yeah, everyone has to do our job, you know, when it, whether that be the offensive line, the receivers, quarterback, anything, you know, everyone needs to do their job because there's been plays anyway or like any guy has messed up and it's cost the team. So whether it be, you know, plays there and I mess up and DJ can't make the throw he needs to because he's under pressure, you know, that sort of thing. So it's everyone needs to come together. Everyone needs to be the best player that they can be and everyone needs to do their best if we want to be successful and have that meshing as an offense. No, their defensive line definitely was very stout. They had some dudes inside who were very big guys, hard to move. And then they also could move when it came in the pass rush, too. They were very shifty. And then on the edge, obviously, the guy they had was very stout, very big, hard to move in the run. And then definitely had some power and he had some moves in the pass. So, you know, their defensive line was very good. Did you feel like y'all ran the ball the way you were hoping to for the most part? I feel like no matter what, there's always room for improvement. So yeah, we ran the ball for 200 and however many yards, but you know, there's always room for improvement. You want to go out there and run it for as many yards as you want to. You want to be able to call whatever play you want and they can't stop it. So there's always room for improvement. What's it like playing for an ACC championship, this preparation, as you guys, you, you have the benefit of looking forward to another game when a lot of teams are just kind of waiting to hear their fate right now. Yeah, I mean, I it's great. That was definitely a message from Coach Sweeney about you know, some teams right now, if they lost, they just had to sit and wallow in it for however many weeks until they play their bowl game. But for us, you know, we have a chance to go out there and redeem ourselves and go play for an ACC championship, which only two teams a year can play for. So, you know, it's a very, very, um, very grateful to have the opportunity to go out and prove ourselves and redeem ourselves. From your said that the offensive line is one of the best units in the team. What's it like working with a guy like Mitchell Mays who came in and plugged in for um, well, you know what? Mitchell in practice has always been a guy who can rotate in anywhere, and Mitchell's always been an incredibly hard worker in practice. And 
the way that he you know sees the game and he takes notes from players like Jordan, players like Walker, people like that who are experienced, have played the game before. And the way that he, I guess, attacks practice and attacks preparation is very, very admirable. He's a very hardworking guy. He's one of my best friends. And, you know, I, I really, I think that he he's one of the hardest workers I know, so. Um, the one thing I looked at with him is, you know, the way that he is very precise with the way that he plays, and then he's precise getting into the fit, and then his physicality once he gets into the fit is incredible. So his precision without being out of control, but then his physicality while still being under control and being able to, you know, physically dominate guys is incredible to me. And just little things too, just the way he uses his hands and pass pro versus run, things like that, you know, those are just things that you can sit and watch him and things that you can help yourself with. Dabo said that DJ didn't lose this game. He wasn't the reason there was drops. From your vantage point and being on the offensive line, what are the keys to sort of this uh, offensive unit from a passing, you know, like taking off and uh, what's happening? Um, like I said earlier, you know, everyone, whether that be receivers, whether that be, you know, the running backs in protection, whether that be the offensive line, giving him enough time, you know, giving him a clear window to throw to, that sort of thing. It's everyone coming together and doing their job to the best of their ability. So it, everyone just needs to be the best version of themselves and play the best game they've ever played. If we want to be successful, whether it be passing or running the ball, everyone just needs to come together and be the best they can be. If you were to compare Blake Miller in his first game against Georgia Tech to Blake Miller now, I mean, what ways have you improved? What ways are you different? Um, I'd like to think I play a bit more under control like into the fit, like I was saying with Jordan, like he plays under control into the fit and then physical once he gets into it. I felt like when I came in, I was a little out of control getting into the fit and I just wanted to go a million miles an hour and hit someone. Now I've kind of controlled that a little bit, get into the fit, then I can go a million miles an hour and try and, you know, drive someone in the ground. Any questions for Blake from Zoom? Anybody else in the room? All right, appreciate it, Blake. Thank you.